Welcome everyone, King Kobe here. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about two features in Virtual DJ that I think most of Virtual DJ enthusiasts or do, most of the people who use Virtual DJ haven't been paying attention to. But before I get to that, I would like to plead all of you, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly hit that subscribe button now and turn on your note. Per my analytics, a large percentage of my viewers haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. So please, if you are here, and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do that at this moment. Now, let's get into the business of the day. So I'm coming to talk about the vinyl and then the slip mode in Virtual DJ. So let's start with the vinyl mode. So the vinyl mode can be compared to the normal touch to pause and then release to continue on a physical controller or a physical DJ hardware, right? So let me lower the volume so that we will get to hear if i'm playing the song so if i have this song playing right and i have the venom mode turned on what it does is that immediately i hold the platter the song pauses and if i release it continues from the position that i held it but if i have sleep mode turned on and i hold it even though the song pauses but you can see that there is a blue counter that is counting so if i release the song now skips forward so let me hold this for a while and wait for a significant amount of time. And you can see that the song skips forward, right? Let me hold it again. And by the next time that I'll release it, you'll see that the song will either stop because by that time it had finished. So let me release it and you can see that it has stopped because the counter was still counting while I was holding it. This is because I had the slip mode turned on together with the vinyl mode right now let me turn off the vinyl mode and then just play right since the vinyl mode is turned off and only the slip mode is turned on in isolation if i hold it it doesn't do anything but what happens is that immediately i start rotating it in the opposite direction of the song you see the song slows down if i rotate it in the direction of the song the song speeds up a little bit right so this means that the slip mode in isolation is for nudging so nudging means that you are either nudging the song left or you're nudging the song right and this uh is mostly for synchronization purposes right so i'll load the same song here so now since i have the two songs loaded i will try and then use only the slip mode to synchronize the songs without just without clicking the sync mode right so it means that i'll be doing a left and a right nudge sorry so i'll play this and then i'll play this so what i'll do is that i'll just nudge it forward right and you can see that so a little adjustment up and down here and you can see that the song the two songs are matched even though not precise but i think there is there is a difference so if i nudge it back you see that it's mismatched if i bring it forward they match together right so that is basically about the slip mode in isolation now i will use it together with the vinyl mode so the same thing i'm going to do the same thing here yeah, i'll play this play this and then i'll nudge them forward great so now that i've matched it i'll turn on the vinyl mode scratch right but if i leave it it will snap back into the same position matching the songs at the same time without mismatching it right so in a nutshell the vinyl mode is for your normal scratch purpose right you want to hold and then scratch the song or change the song's position and the slip mode is more or less for continuity right that is if it is used together with the vinyl mode and if it is used the vinyl, the slip mode is used in isolation it is also helps you to synchronize your song by nudging either left or nudging forward or back you know to match with the second song that is playing so that is basically about it so somebody might ask so what if both modes are turned off well if both modes are turned off it then by default works as 
it is in a sleep mode right if both modes are turned off so let's put it into practice and then you will get to know what i'm talking about so when i'm playing the song if i hold it nothing happens but immediately i start rotating back you can see that the song slows down if i rotate it in the direction of the song the song speeds up so that is basically about it if you found value in this video be sure to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share to other virtual dj enthusiasts my name is ken kobe and i'll come your way with another video but till then stay safe